From Brianna. Let's get the glasses on when you moved. What made you choose Washington? I grew up in Tacoma. I do sometimes miss my evergreen state, but right now I am in love with Arizona. Um, well, it was a combination of factors. I came from Connecticut, and let me tell you guys something. There is no reason to live in Connecticut. I wish there was besides Italian food. That's about it. There is authentic, delicious Italian food in Connecticut. Outside of that, the weather is terrible. The prices are high. The taxes are high. It's just totally not worth it. Everything's overly expensive in Connecticut because you, they consider you like, oh, you could go to New York whenever you want. I, I don't want to go to New York. I've been there. I, I don't care about going to New York City or New York in general. So I wanted to get out of there, okay? And basically I tried to look for a combination of factors. At the time when I was looking to move, my aunt actually was living uh, in Washington State and she had lived here her whole life uh, outside of when she was very young and loved it. Loved the moderate weather. Loved the, you know, different things about it. You know, nice, nice natural things out here. <laughs> um, and I was looking for basically a state that didn't have a state income tax. Because I paid state income tax in Connecticut and it was insanely high to the point where it was like not even worth it. I'm like, why are they forcing me to pay tax in the state just for living there, right? Here in this state, there is tax, but the tax is based on how much you spend. It's the state sales tax is higher so it makes more sense. The more you spend, the more you, you pay in taxes rather than just pay taxes because you exist. So, again, it seems to me like no matter, damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? So, I need to raise money in order to save my ass from these state taxes out of nowhere that came up out of nowhere. So people come out, we're supportive of Phil, let's cheer, let's sub, let's tip, they do it, great. Now I'll get past the state taxes, but now federal tax, oh, now you owe more because you made more money. Now where does this money magic? Which is really stupid. Um... <clears throat> there are other factors as well but basically I was looking at different things and it's like every other place that I found that was better basically had worse weather so it's like Texas incredibly like self-employment own your own business supportive terrible weather in the summer too hot Florida super duper supportive of independent business insanely bad humid weather and it just kept coming up that way it was like the trade-off was bad weather for, for cheaper prices so I kind of found a medium. When I, where I lived in Connecticut, it was way more expensive than here. Okay, for example, um, the, this condo, I'm stuck with a condo in Connecticut that's worth shit. I can't sell it and I can't rent it. So it's just draining on my finances every fucking month and I can't get rid of it. I owned a condo in Connecticut that was a, like a tiny place and it was like a $160,000 condo, okay? This house when I bought it 10 years ago was just over 200000 and it's a big house, okay? Now, prices have increased, and now this house is worth way, way more. But the point is, essentially, you live here, everything an upgrade. Bigger house, better weather, better, better, you know, business savvy, and a better internet as well to be able to do what I do for a living. Like, it was a ton of improvements to my life for essentially not really that much of a big difference in cost of living. So that's why I moved out here. <laughs> Um, since then, of course, things have changed. Now it's hotter out here. Now my, the home value went up. So now property taxes went up. <laughs> you know, prices have gone up, inflation. So it's like things change over time. But in, in reality, I love my life out here way more than I did living in Connecticut. I did not enjoy Connecticut at all. And I was there all the way until 2014. And I really hated there. I just, there was so many reasons to not like living there. So, but, um, you know, I'm not saying that there's not better places. I'm just saying this seemed to be like the best place for me. So. There you go. Thank you for the tip. And now it is going to glasses time. I almost forgot. That was not my fault. It was the resp responsibility of a guy who I was paying thousands of dollars to take care of this. And he didn't. He basically ripped me off. Um, and now, finally, I'm in a position where I'm able to afford the taxes that I owed at least for now the short term. I don't know what's going to happen long term yet. I'm trying to wait and find out about that. Um, and I'm going to talk about all this in detail. Oh, someone insulted me? Someone named Daily As Guardian News did a super chat and said something uh, insulting, right? Great. Thanks for the insult and thanks for the super chat. I'm not even going to ban you because maybe you're stupid enough that you'll do another super chat. <laughs> Could be. You know, I'm not going to pass that one up. Anyway, let's see here. <laughs> thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Aha! No!
This is working. Nice. Oh! 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 Yeah! Woo! -hoo! Right up my ass, baby. I love it. Whoa! I love that. Pain is pleasure. <laughs>